Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour 3, welcome back to SOG Pro Fire and the Mike Force mission mode. And so in this video I'm going to show you and tell you, hopefully, about building a basic guide to building in Mike Force. Because if you've played this already, you'll know you'll go to these forward op operating bases and you'll find all these wonderful sandbags and bunkers and all this stuff and you might think, I want to get involved in that. So that's what we're going to be covering the basics of in this video. So first things first... If you want to build, you need to see the duty officer and you need to make sure you're an engineer. Now remember, in some game modes and on some servers, you can't change your specialist thing. So you, you're always a mic force guy and a medic normally is what they do. You can't actually be an engineer and they just let their players be all the engineers so they can do the stuff. Um, so just bear that in mind if you find you can't change to an engineer. The other thing you'll want to do, and sorry, and you do that by finding the uh, duty officer on the map of wherever you are. Um, there we go. So there's there's the duty officer, there's the supply officer, and there should be, he probably got an arsenal next to him. Yes, he has as well. And you'll also want, if you press H to bring up your specialization, Ideally, you want to be part of the Armoured Cavalry, because the Armoured armored Cavalry uh, have the best list of stuff that they can build when you're an engineer. You don't have to, um, but it helps. The other thing you'll really need to have is in your inventory, you'll need to have a secondary as a shovel, or at least have a shovel in your backpack somewhere. So what you can do is you can go up to the Armoury, equip a shovel as your, well, as your launcher, I guess it is, um, and then you drop it so it's on the floor and then you can put it in your backpack. Something that's also useful as well is the axe. Now the axe isn't really useful for building but it's a useful tool to have because it means you can go out and you can cut down trees around something like a forward operating base so the fields of fire are clearer. Also in your uh, inventory you probably want to pick up some sandbags um, because you, you can use those to supply the buildings and we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. So we're set up, we're an engineer we're in the uh, armoured cavalry. Um, let's just go over here then and just have a quick chat with this fella. Now this guy is the supply officer. Now depending on where you are on the map, um, so I'm at FOB 5, but maybe you'll be at the air, air base. These guys are in different places, but if you just zoom in, you can have a look around, so duty officer, supply officer, um, and you can chat to these guys. And what this guy does is when you talk to him by pressing 6, he can give you certain supplies. Now... When he's giving you these things, um, really he's giving you them, you know, helicopters would pick them up and take them to forward, oper base, forward operating bases, or maybe you would load them into trucks, that sort of thing. But supplies are integral to maintaining your structures and maintaining your forward operating bases. So what will happen is, when you're involved in building a FOB, or some sort of checkpoint or something like that, the helicopter pilot should be flying this stuff in, in particular things like sandbags and building supplies so that you can keep the buildings maintained. What happens is if the buildings and the structures aren't maintained by having supplies into them, they gradually degrade until if there's no players around, they'll disappear as well. And also, the way that you respawn um, at FOBs is with a checkpoint. And if the checkpoint runs out of supplies inside it, um, people won't be able to... Um, uh, respawn there so I've enabled cheat so what we're gonna do we're just gonna go somewhere safe hopefully where we're not gonna bump into any um, enemies there we go okay so this is a nice area <laughs> to, to practice on it's nice and open I've turned the snakes off so uh, we don't you know for about getting bitten um, and if you press escape, you'll get the game mode key bindings. This is always really good because you can look at this and you can see um, building mode comes up. So we've got N. So all we need to do as an engineer is we press N and we can bring up our building menu. And what I recommend is you build up your uh, favorites of things that you want to build. But the, the heart of a fob is something like a situation room. The situation room is the thing that kind of holds the forward operating, forward operating base together so it makes it links all of the structures you then build so they're always pulling from the same supplies um, and, and it makes it a fob basically so I can choose to build this uh, so choose that alright oh, I'm in it right I'm still in a re restricted zone so let, let's come out and let's go over here 
let's see if we can build over here uh, not a particularly great place for a fob not too much we really want a little bit more clearance don't we have it over here Right, okay, this is better. Okay, it's a bit bit of a weird fob, but it will do. We could cut down the trees. So press N, situation room. Let's build this. Let's build the situation room now. All we what we can do is you can kind of move your mouse around to to move it around where you want to place it. And if you press right button or left button on your mouse, you'll get different options. So we get height. So now as I move my mouse mouse around, I can change the height of it. If I press my right mouse button again, I can now rotate it. And then we can move it again. So we've got position, height, and rotation. And when we're happy, we hit space to build it. However, we're not really building it at this point. All we've done is we've just kind of placed the blueprint down. Now, it doesn't look like a blueprint, I know, because it's kind of... Um, it's kind of... Uh, looks solid, doesn't it? But it's not actually there. What you need to do to actually finish it off is you need to equip your spade, um, which I think is on two, is it? There we go. So we've got our spade. Now, when we go up to it, um, you see in the bottom of, bottom of the screen, it says situation room, status decaying, build progress zero. So if I hit it, build progress is 20. And you hit the structure with your spade, and that will build it. Now, what's really important about this is the fact that you, when you're starting off, you may well find you go into a Ford operating base with some other engineers, and there's probably going to be engineers there who are more experienced at building than you are. And they will probably just lay out the blueprints, if you like. And then what you can do, as someone with a spade, an engineer with a spade, you can just run after them and then just build the um, structures. So, for example, um, obviously what you would normally do is put barriers around so if we press n and we can go to category um non a calf can be quite good so just this gives you oh we're coming under fire so let's build that one and then let's build that so we run into a so let's um get rid of these enemies where are, where are they coming from behind us oh right yeah I've got invincibility turned on because I knew this sort of thing would happen okay so let's say your more experienced um, uh, engineer is going around and he's just placing all of the He's just placing all of the structures that aren't actually built. And then what you can do is you can run around after him with your um, spade and you can build them. So they're actually there. So it's a way you can team up. And even when you're not very experienced at building something, you can have a go. And the beauty with um, Armour 3 Mike Force is that you can do it on your own little server. So if you go into uh, Armour single player, well, sorry, Armour multiplayer, and just go into host local server, uh, host server you can choose to do mic force and then you can spawn in and you can just build um, and go around and just get used to how you do it um, now if we want somewhere for players to spawn what we'll want to do is we'll want a checkpoint uh, let's have a look under all so we want a checkpoint there we go and then we equip our spade Where are these nasties coming from? Okay, so we've now built that. 
Um, now, if we go up to here, we can see that it says percentage fill zero, can't supply zero. Now, to interact with um, buildings, you press the six key, and that will bring up its little um, wheel. Now, if there is a crate nearby that a truck or a helicopter has dropped, you'll be able to resupply with crate, and it's going to say, well, there aren't any, so you can't. However, I have got some sandbags, so I can add a sandbag. As you can see, it now says percentage filled 0.1. So current supplies 9.2. Now with these particular things, with checkpoints, is as players spawn in using them, those supplies get used up. So it's important that if you're in a fob um, and you know there is a checkpoint, keep running up to it and adding sandbags, or if there's a sort of supply crate near, that will give you the option to add supplies. And the same goes for all of these things as well. So percentage field 0.2, so press six. We could add a sandbag and say our situation room percentage field 0.3 so we press 6 and we can add a sandbag like that and that now has a few more supplies now what you might say well what happens when they run out of supplies well when they run out of supplies they don't disappear immediately but if there's no players around they will disappear now in the description below this video I'll link to some um, other uh, good guides to Guys, to building in Mike Force. Here we go. This one here. Once you know the basics, of, basics of actually playing Mike Force, this guide here is excellent because what this chap does, he goes through some really solid strategies and tactics for how you would build a fob and how you would align it to make it easier for helicopters to come in and how to make it easier for people to defend and uh, and all that sort of uh, fun stuff and adding lights to it to make it work properly and all this sort of stuff so i'll put a link to that and there is lots of good information out there on building in um in mike force but in a se in essence just remember you have to be an engineer it helps if you're in the armored cavalry because then you can build more things you need to have a spade and you don't need to be the lead architect, if you like, when you're in a fob or somewhere building stuff. You can just be the chap with the spade who goes around finishing the structures off and adding sandbags and adding supplies to them. And that will really help out your team as well. Okay, so hopefully you've found this useful. If you have, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.